so this is how you're supposed to go on the streets in Halloween time. You're gonna be like a sexy lady with your banger and the burgundy or red one dress like this, with your face looking like this. You don't have to wear a weird ass web. You just do your hair really naughty and sexy. Show your boobs with nice high heel shoes. And your nice um clown face. So this is each Aspire makeup tutorial not quite this kind of sexy now because I have to redo a version of this tomorrow but I hope you enjoy it. You know everyone I think I got a ghost in my room that is fucking up my Halloween decoration. But today I got you a friendly it makeup since you know that's all new in movie theaters. I had the opportunity to go in the movie theaters when I went with my sister. When I was with my sister and I went in Puerto Rico, I went to the movie theater and saw it. So that's something new from 2017. So I'll be like, let me do the easy version of the it. Um this this makeup over here doesn't look like freak you up. It looks like he is a friendly clown, you know, so it's the friendly version of it. Obviously, these are more thicker lines, it's supposed to be thinner lines, and this part over here is supposed to be like this, like no more here. I just put it straight out because you know I wanted to do this so everyone can achieve it, um, especially small girls. Um, big girls will can do a stretch stuff maybe I do the difficult version which is not so difficult this thing is so easy to achieve even the difficult version is so easy to achieve this one is the easy version and I'm gonna plan to do I'm gonna try to do actually a more difficult version which is the thinner line and more to here like this it's, it's not that difficult but you know what I mean um this is the friendly it's clown version so it's goes like this, white face, red nose, red lips, everything is red and white face. So I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. So starting out, I already primed my face, put the foundation, so everything lasts longer actually with primer, foundation, all this makeup. You had a base, it's gonna last longer. I'm just gonna start applying this white concealer all over my face because I don't have white eyeshadow. You can feel free to wear a shadow if you want. Um, this is just a white concealer that I'm gonna be applying with my fingers all over my face. You can either blend with the brush or better, everything is better for me when I blend it with just my hair. Like everything comes out really pigmented. I don't need no brush for this. So I'm just gonna use my hair in this motion that I'm doing like just like this. It's pretty easy. It's not much of difficulties to do this with that. So that's what I'm doing now. Now, when you use a cream, concealer, whatever, cream product, you have to set with the powder. So what I'm going to use is this white powder that is in my little palette over here. That I'm going to grab all the white powder that I can so this thing has to be really dark. Not dark, really white I must set. And you can put um, whitish in your neck. To make everything look even but I have a sugar necklace at this time so that is not necessary in this case if you're not gonna wear a sugar necklace you can always do your neck and put white in it but a simple eyeliner this one's the blackest eyeliner that you can ever find this one is from with this wire that stuff is stick stuff it is really affordable it's like three dollars in the pharmacy I just gonna draw the line so I'm doing this like this. This one is a friendly version. 
the scary version is more to the side but that's gonna be in my next video so this one is what I'm doing like this I'm just gonna create a straight line like this I do two lines because I'm gonna put a pigment like really dark red pigment um, between the lines so that's why I have um to draw some space so I can color that later on I'm gonna blend all this with my brush so it's gonna get better looking while I keep developing this makeup I usually gonna line my lips as well so with this same eyeliner I'm just gonna line my lips because the makeup is supposed to have the least light on especially if you're a girl it's a girl makeup is lining the lips and the guy makeup as well at least has the lips like so they look like black with red. So I'm gonna do another straight line. And for the scariest part, this one is a friendly version. I don't think I'm gonna do like a vampire or any scary things. Um, like Halloween accessories, you know, they sell in the scary shit. Uh, store they sell you the scary teeth like vampire teeth and stuff like that you can wear those in your mouth but I don't have those but to make it even more scarier or scary you know what I mean what I was just saying yeah. this one was the red color that I find in my makeup it was the most red that I have so it's the one that I'm gonna use now Probably uh, there are more um, red in the red tone. Mm, um, you know, eyeshadows. I'm gonna see if I can find another red in my makeup tutorial for the scary version of this uh, clown version. You know what I mean? But this one was okay and it's red. This it doesn't have a violet tone, it doesn't have a fuchsia tone, it doesn't have a pinky tone, but it has a red tone. But it is okay for this matter. With this new brush, I used to have the clear plastic and just start working with it. I'm just gonna do some treatment and then I'm just gonna apply really nicely with my brush, making sure that it doesn't go out from the lines that I already created and just stay there inside the line. You can do this line as straight as you want, as creepy as you want, it doesn't matter, um, it's just up to you. So the same step I'm doing here, um, you don't have to wear no eyeshadow in here, just your white, maybe your white concealer or your white powder to make your face look white. But um, the concealer is now mostly using here, it's just a straight line. Um, in my eyelid, that's a straight line, obviously, because the whole face has to be straight, so I put a straight line in my eyelid, and that's why I'm gonna color it too. But you don't need to do nothing else. You just basically, guess what I'm doing. So another character to cut this makeup is the eyebrows, so you have to wear your eyebrows really dark, so it has to be really dark black. Um, in this case, I'm using this one from this palette, this is a concealer palette, and this thing over here looks like a brow concealer because it's really dark brown, you know, so, and plus, when it's green, it even looks more darker, that's why most of the time when I do my makeup, I do my makeup, I wear a powder that is brown, but this one is super dark, 
but one thing has to fix all this makeup is so eyebrows so you have to have really nice dark black eyebrows or whatever because this is what you have to do And if you messed up, just put some white powder on top of your eyebrows and just do it. Can put the white powder where you want to put your with your fingers as well, it really helps out if you think you didn't do well with your brows. I need to fix the other ones. I'm probably gonna fix this makeup up camera. You get what the best part. So some of this list is there were fuchsia, violet tones, orangey tones. So this is um Milani's uh red velvet color, which is perfect. It's a red to red color, but this one from her candy was the most red tone that I found in my collection right now it's still I feel like it's kind of the shimmery side and it's not that red um color like I wish it was but you can fix that you can put some of the eyeshadow on top of this and it will be alright so I'm just gonna first apply this lippy and then on top of this lipstick I'm just gonna apply some of the red eyeshadow that I already used to do my makeup So I'm just using this powder over here. Yes, I know about the brows. I fit them off camera for the intro, so that's why you see in the intro them. The makeup is all done and finished. Um, the brows they thick. I gotta um, uh, you know, shave them tomorrow for the, you know, tomorrow's more scary version of this tutorial. But that's all fine. You get that you have to the brows have to be super dark. The this clown, especially the brows are super dark. So you get the fucking So now with the nose, we're gonna just get an eyeliner and draw a nose. It's gonna be halfway in your nose. It's not gonna be round. It's not going to be all over the nose, it's just going to be a little bit in the nose because that's how this clown has it, it's inspired. It's not, this makeup tutorial is not looking the same, obviously it's my version, but it's a different version, but it's kind of inspired. It's not going to be looking the same, just so you know. Even tomorrow's the scary version probably is not be looking the same, but this is just any version, it's not other people's version. So this is the red powder, the only red powder. Like I said, I try today to find another red powder that I probably have in my collection for tomorrow's makeup tutorial. But I'm starting my makeup for Halloween. This one is kind of cool. If you want an easy version. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my nose. I'm not leaving anything um, blank. I just put it all over my nose and down my nose and all of that good stuff. Um, don't be scared, you're not gonna smell that, uh, you're not gonna die if you smell some of this powder in your nose. So just try to cover every single part of your nose with um, 
this powder. try to make it look as red as possible so I think we are blending and I'm putting a lot of powder just for that cake now every single makeup is great that you put lashes especially this one because the clown makeup I noticed that clowns have especially really nice lashes you know really length latches really nice looking latches so because this is a clown makeup for halloween so you have to wear mascara actually you don't have to put post lashes but um nice mascara and put them really nice and black that will be great Um, this is a Halloween tutorial. This is not like something luxurious and glamorous, so that's why I'm trying to make it a Halloween spirit. So we're all messy during Halloween time, so it is it is just fine. Enjoy your Halloween time, and I will see you with another makeup tutorial tomorrow. And you can wear your setting spray so it lands you the long night long. So night long, I mean. Love you.